surviving the big squeeze, what to do with your money. We're going to talk to Ray Martin right now, our financial advisor. He is standing by in Saratoga. New York with a very serious look on his face this morning. We found some actual real live American humans. We have them with us here in the studio this morning. They have important questions for you this morning. And the first one comes from Jen Litt. Go ahead, ask Ray. Um, so I bought a brand new home last year and it's since depreciated in value. So when would be a good time to refinance my mortgage? Good question. Yeah, great question. The answer, right now. I'll give you two reasons for that. Number one is interest rates for fixed rate mortgages right now, you can get below 7% right now. The Fed has indicated they're likely to raise interest rates late this year, early next year. And if you have an adjustable rate mortgage, that interest rate could go up from there. The other reason why is if your home is depreciating in value, get it refinanced now while you get it appraised at its current value. Home prices are likely to continue to slide through 2009 some, by some amount, but who knows. But while you have that higher amount of value for your home right now, you're more likely to get it appraised at a higher value and refinance. There you get go. it done right now for those two reasons. How about Thank that? Thank you. Okay. Awesome. How about Eric you're Weinstein? Welcome. Eric, what is your question for Ray? this morning right into the camera yeah right how many uh, more banks are likely to be taken over by the FDIC and uh, what percentage is this nationally and can you put this into some kind of perspective historically really good yeah, yeah, that's, that's a great question. It, industry watchers say there could be another 50 to 150 banks that could fail by the, year, by the end of year 2010. Now, that sounds like a lot, and it is. In the last three years, there have only been four banks that failed that were taken over by the FDIC. However, in the last 15 years, there have been 127 banks taken over by the FDIC. So this isn't an occurrence that's so unique. IndyMac is so large with $32 billion in assets and 265,000 deposit customers, it's a headline maker. Put it in perspective, from 1930 to 1933, 9,000 banks failed. So this is a headline grabber. However, we've seen times a lot worse than this. This one's really good. I have a mortgage payment due this week with IndyMac. That's the big bank, $30 billion bank just taken over by the FDIC in California. Should I pay it on time or wait for further info? Okay, the answer is yes, you should pay it on time. Make the payment to the same Pay, uh, pay to the order of. Send it to the same institution, the same address, everything the same. It is business as usual. Keep paying that on time. Yeah, make sure you don't get in arrears because that creates a whole other set of problems, right? Email number two. That's we correct, Harry. entered a rent-to-own agreement this May. We have two years to buy the home. Should we buy it now rather than in 2010? Good question. I really like the position that you're in right now, rent to own. Here's what you need to do. Wait until you have at least 10 to 20% saved for the down payment on that home. You don't want to try to scrimp cash and buy this home when you're not financially ready. That's how a lot of people got in trouble here. Also, depending on your local market, assess the market. If prices are expected to continue to fall into next year, continue to wait. You're in the driver's seat right here and take a look at that. But the rent to own type of agreement is a great position to be in while you're renting. Get financially prepared and wait a little bit longer here while you assess the market. You might have a better time to buy depending on where you are. Well, and certainly the more amount of cash that that you have on hand is going to have a lot to do with what kind of a mortgage you get, right? And you might get a lower mortgage interest rate and more easily qualify for that mortgage when you have more money to put down and you have more equity in that home. There you go. That's Email right. number three. My mom has most of her assets in Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac bonds. This is a really good question. Mm -hmm. Good questions this morning. Her broker says they are backed by the federal government and that she is okay. Is this, this is an assumption widely held across the country. Is it true? No. Okay, Freddie, May, uh, Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae bonds are not guaranteed mm -hmm. by the U.S. government like treasury notes and treasury securities bonds, bills and notes are, or like Ginnie Mae mortgage bonds. Those have government guarantee, a guarantee by the U.S. government that interest payments will be received on time and principal. Freddie, uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac bonds have an implied government backing mm -hmm. that if those institutions should not be able to pay on time, the government may come in because they operate under a quasi-government charter. Right. However, here's the problem I have. Most of her assets in, in Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac bonds, you should never have most of your assets in right. an issue of security of any one firm. She should own treasuries, some money market funds, some FDIC insured certificates of deposits, Ginnie Mae mortgage backed bonds, and then some Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac bonds. Yeah. Not most of assets in there. So a broker, shame on that broker for allowing right. her to get in that situation. Because the guarantee is implicit, not explicit. 
There you go. Ray Martin, that, thanks that for your... That is correct. Yeah, thanks for your good advice this morning. Do appreciate it. Enjoy your day. You're welcome. If you have a question for You're Ray, go welcome, to our Ray. website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.